Uh, the plan is they'll all get chances to play with all the different groups. Uh, you know, they're still battling, playing, uh, you know, battling and competing with each other. And then what I want to see is just them taking care of the football, securing the snap, taking care of the football, throwing the ball away when needed, uh, just making sure that we have the ball at the end of every whistle. What went, what went really well um, on Saturday in the scrimmage? I think just the operation, our op offensive operation. Uh, execution is still not at 100%, but the guys were – we know what to do now, and we're stepping in the right directions. Uh, now we just have to execute it a little bit higher, execute the technique at a little bit higher rate. But I think just two or three weeks into it, getting a lot of football in the last three weeks, I think just naturally helped them improve and develop. Where have you seen Dylan make the biggest jump, maybe from the beginning of spring to the last scrimmage? Uh, I think we challenged him to, to play, you know, to get his, not bad body language, but to get his energy going because people are going to feed off him. And he, he played like he was at recess. He played like he was in third grade out on the playground, flying around, moving around, dancing around, giving people high fives. And I think that, that bled, into, bled into our offensive uh, guys, gave them a lot of confidence to go out and do some really good things on, on Saturday, this past Saturday. Do you find sometimes you have to tell guys, whatever player they are, hey, don't play it cool, like bring as much excitement and energy. Sometimes guys just come and they, they almost feel like maybe they have to try to play. Yeah, and like with guys like like Dylan's a freshman. He's been, this is his just his 13th practice. And so, you know, they're still learning. Like sometimes we look at it and like, hey, why don't you go out there and be, you know, Peyton Manning where well, they're not ready to be Peyton Manning yet. They're, they're trying to figure out when the horn blows, which direction to run, you know, run in. So uh, I think, you know, you, you do want guys to know that, you know, the influence they have on their teammates and they can use that as a superpower. What's been your assessment of the running backs and sort of who's stuck out? Or? Uh, I mean, really, they're all pretty much just kind of – they have their own little things that they do well. And, uh, you know, we're just challenging them to go out and make plays and make people miss. You know, we want to see guys, if they're in open space, not to get tackled by safeties or, or corners or DBs in general. So who can make people miss and who can hold on to the football and who can, who can win in pass protection. Uh, Gabe and Ramir both do a tremendous job. Gabe, uh, you know, he's like a coach on the field. He's out there, you know, whenever he's not doing his work on the side, he's out there, making, you know, mentoring those young guys, making sure, you know, we split up on all these different fields. And so, like, EJ can't be at every single field. So he's, a, he's like a coach on the field. He's, he's done a really nice job, him and Raheem both. Ramir. What did last year teach you with losing? Uh, that you, you, I mean, I think it's the way that Coach Rule designs practice that saves us. I mean, you got to have three or four running backs ready to roll just because it's such a physical toll that their body takes uh, week in and week out, day in and day out. So I think just, you know, you look up and you lose both those guys. Uh, you, you're going down to your third and your fourth uh, guy on the depth chart. They better be ready to go in and execute at a high level. As you progress through spring, how, how has it turned over the picture? Well, I, would, I don't even want you to ask me stuff like that. <laughs> Uh, we've improved. As you, as you now I'm going to go out to the next practice. That like, <laughs> there's not enough wood to knock on. We've improved. As you uh, incorporate the young running backs, Quentin and Dante, into things, um, do you find it's, it's more of a challenge to teach them the running concepts or the pass protection? Or uh, the pass protection by far because we're going against a, a unique defense that you see everything, every day, uh, you know, we see things in one practice that some guys won't even see in a spring, like an entire spring practice. So uh, I think pass protection is, is the crucial developmental point for when a young back, when when you trust a young back, you're running back to go into the game. Is it some receivers that, that popped on Saturday to you, the, the way that their ball skills and some things you play? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to mention names because I'll always forget one, but I, I was really pleased. Challenge the receivers. Scrimmage one, we had a lot of drops, tight ends, running backs, and receivers. And uh, we limited uh, by a large amount, of, by a large number of the drops that we had on Saturday. But you know, there was a lot of guys that made some explosive plays with their legs, went up and got it, used their bodies. So that was really good to see. That's what we were expecting to see. Um, at tight end, we focus a lot on Thomas and Nate to some degree. Who are some of the younger players that you've really appreciated developing over spring and that fans might see on Saturday? Yeah, I think Luke Lindemeyer is a you know a, a hidden. A hidden gem for us. I mean, he just does so much stuff for us, and he does it really well. Uh, he's one of those guys you don't even notice he's out there because he's always doing things the right way. But uh, you know, he's he's 
so valuable to us as an offense. Do you feel like he could expand his his game too, like uh, catching more passes, things like that? Oh yeah, he's at a he's at a, I'm not I don't know the numbers, but he's caught you know he's catching a handful of balls every single practice thus far. He's done done a really nice job that aspect of his game. Coach Rule said that Heinrich was light years ahead in his development as a passer compared to last year. What's that look like? Uh, I think just he's more comfortable uh, being in, the, you know, being in there. Last year, you know, we threw him in the fire. He'd never been the starting quarterback. He hadn't gotten a tremendous amount of reps in practice, and so I think just all the reps he got last year. I think all the the stuff he got in the off season. I, I think he's just he's taken a step of development. I think Glenn's done a really nice job with him, like you know, slowing his brain down a little bit. But uh, you know, he's just he's got a super arm. So the thing with him is just you know taking some of that off, some of that velocity off those throws, and his accuracy's improved and. He had a really nice day on Saturday.